Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Uh, today I'm just going to go through and finish this picture off. Um, I started it on Saturday's color and chat, worked on it yesterday during work in progress Wednesday and unfortunately I wasn't able to uh, spend the entire two hours with y'all because yeah my back wasn't happy. <laughs> I did take the picture with me and sat on the couch and colored a little bit so I was able to finish off the sky so I've taken a little thingy it's just a little round jar and drew in the Sun and it's of course setting on the water here and the Sun I used some yellows and some oranges and some reds so I use these three pencils on the Sun of course that is number 13 19 and 6 and I carried those colors up into the sky and the sky and of course on the clouds the sky is done with these three colors I think yeah um, so I've got 149 119 and 159 I also took some of these colors and put them down in the water and then of course the clouds are done with an assortment of different grays uh, some dark grays some blacks and, and other different grays I also finished off the rocks and put in a little bit of brown here and finished off the grass and I used these three greens for the grass I used number 65 55 and 64 and for this tree down here I used I think it's number 26 hold on a sec let me check the color yeah number 26 number 65 and number 55 in that tree so those are the colors that I will be carrying on into the other trees uh, let's start with the evergreens here now because the Sun is going down um, this side of the trees is going to be darker than the other side so you're going to see that these trees here are a lot darker than this area here or this area here where the Sun is hitting it so I'm just going to go in I'm going to switch you over to the other camera here and I'm just going to go in and take the darkest of the greens which is number 26 and I'm just going to fill in those areas where the branches of the trees are overlapping now I know I normally don't do this um, in a video but I really want to get as many Dover pro uh, Dover publication pictures done uh, as possible for hashtag dive into Dover and uh, I want to start a new picture on Saturday so in order to start a new picture I gotta finish a picture so <laughs> and because there was so little left to do on this one I figured I would just uh, sit here with y'all and finish it up I hope everybody has been having a great week I do apologize for not making uh, a full two hours yesterday my back is feeling a lot better today so that's another reason why I wanted to get it done because my back's feeling better and I want to color <laughs> and as you probably have already seen um, I did do my all things Thursday and there's some really cool stuff going on in there as well so and I've got some swatching to do and, but I wanted to color first so so I've just got as much of that dark green in there as I can possibly fit into it I'm just going in to all of those areas where I would expect that shadow to be under the branches now this is an evergreen so evergreens are, are typically quite dark except for on the tips of the branches so you can bring this dark green down 
quite far to the edge of the branch. Now because of the fact that this is the back side of the tree and it's obviously not going to be as bright as the front side of the tree, I'm not going to use as many yellow greens as I normally would. Especially since this is at a sunset type of uh, situation where the sun has gone down, the lights have started to come on. I don't want to uh, put a lot of yellows in there. But we will put some lighter greens in there for contrast. I hope everybody is excited for tomorrow. It's Friday! Yay! Friday! The end of the week. Well, for most people the end of the week. For some people it's the start of the week. Like my son. My oldest son starts work on Fridays. So for him, it's the end of his weekend. So it's not a Friday for him, but for me, it's a Friday. Well, for me, every day is Friday. So <laughs> I get to spend as much time as I want with you guys. One of these days, I'm going to have to do a hangout stream where I just hang out with you guys all day long while everybody's at work. I do nothing but sit here and color and hang out. That's going to be a long stream. <laughs> so I'm going over and adding that lighter green. Like I said, I'm not going to use a lot of yellow greens in these uh, evergreens because it is sunset and it is the back side of the tree. So of course it is going to be darker than the front side of the tree that the sun is setting on. And I'm going through with number 65 as my secondary green which is another fairly dark color but still has just a touch of that yellow green in it, that lighter green, to give the contrast for the shadows. And I am still using the art track for Corey's hashtag of A is for August do believe that's her hashtag, uh, where you color things either beginning with A or with things that begin with A. And this entire page will be colored with the R tracks. And I know the inks aren't A's, but the R tracks are. And I think the uh, let me see. The ac well, acrylic, acrylic paint pens, and acrylic paint. So I think the only thing I didn't uh, color with an A was the ink. Everything else is an A. Oh dear! Thank you very much for subscribing. I do appreciate it. Startled me there for a minute. <laughs> not used to subscribers showing up while I'm recording. It's always great to have a new subscriber though. Thank you very much for subscribing. I appreciate it. Alright, so we've got the greens in for the back of the tree here. So now we're just going to go back in with this darker green and make sure that we've got as many shadows as we can on this side because this side here is still going to get a bit of that light coming off the sun here. 
same with this side. It's going to darken a few of those shadows up and darken up a bit of that lighter green. I think I'm actually going to take a little bit of this green as well, which is a bit of an olivey color, and just add that to the dark color, which will darken it up quite nicely. And this one here is number 64. Now this isn't going to be very long because, like I said, I've only got a couple of little spots to do. So most of it will be taken care of with these trees and the little bushes. So lots of green and brown. <laughs> so I'm going to do the bushes and we're going to start with the dark green. Just going to go into all those shadowy type of areas. And with the bushes I'm going to actually add some detail that isn't already in the bush. And we're going to add some berries or something just to give it a little bit of interest. Just so it's not just straight green. But first, we're just going to do the green. Then I think I have some A um, branded pens. I will have to look. I think I'm pretty sure I have some A and Shan ones. Alright, so now we're going to take the next darkest green and we're just going to extend that shadow into the bush. And the tips of it, I'm going to put, try to get a little bit of that light that's coming down. I'm just going to do the little grasses here with the olivey green. Make sure that I get all their tips. And that bush down there will do a little bit more. So I'm just going to come up into the center here with this olivey green. Blending it into that darker green. As I go along. Now, normally, um, you know, you, you don't need, you don't ever actually need a colorless blender or a blender pencil. You can definitely blend your colors together with your lighter colors. So you don't ever completely need, they are a good thing to have because sometimes the lighter, you don't want the lighter color to overtake your, your colors. So sometimes it's really hard to blend with your lighter color. However, it is preferable, especially with colored pencils, if they will blend with themselves. Most colored pencil brands will blend with themselves quite nicely. I've only had a few that wouldn't blend with themselves and absolutely required the uh, colorless blender to make sure it blended properly. If you have enough wax on the page though, you should be able to blend them uh, with just the colored pencils that you're using. So technically, you should never need a colorless blender. However, sometimes it's just fun to have a colorless blender because then you can just put down your colors, blend them together, and not worry about how much wax you have on the paper. Or if your paper 
doesn't allow for that extra wax. Sometimes it's easier just to blend with a Q-tip or your finger or that sort of thing. I know a lot of colorists that don't use the colorless blender at all. So if you're having troubles with your colorless blender, just remember that it's not a necessity, it's not a mandatory thing. I'm just going to quickly take this blender pencil. Of course, as I say, you know, you don't need it. I don't need to do this. I just like to do it because it does blend those colors together without adding any extra color. Now I'm going to do the little bush down here at the bottom and then we'll do the big tree and then we'll add some red on these bushes here for berries. Now I am going to be using a bit more of a grassy green, a lighter green on this tree if I can find it. <laughs> um, no. Oh, there it is, right in front of me. So this is number uh, 55. And I'm using it because the sun is hitting the very tip of this bush in my brain. And it just gives that little bit of contrast. sure I've got enough color there. See the sun is coming right through here and you can see the the line. It's darkening up this area here where the house is going to be giving that shadow. Now if you want to darken up an area and your colors aren't darkening it, darkening it enough, uh, what you can do is you can take a gray, just got to find the right one, and you can just add some gray to that area. Now this is a lamp post, so this area right under the lamp post I'm going to keep green that light green because the light is hitting that. Alright, in this area here I want to do that dark gray for the steps. Okay, so now we're going to take some red. Let's see, there's a dark red. And we're just going to go in with this red throughout the bush. We're just going to add some berries. I know it's probably not a berry bush. It kind of looks like a juniper bush to me. So. but I want some extra colors in there, so. And we're going to just blend them in a little bit. So they're not so in your face type of thing. Just going to do the very tips here. Make sure I've got all that covered. There we go. All right, now the big tree here. So this side here is being hit by that sun a lot, but underneath here 
is not. So we're just going to go through and just add some darkness to this back edge here and the underside of all these leaves. There's not a whole lot of definition in the leaves, so it's not, um, it's a very loose coloring style where you just got to put some colors in and keep adding colors until you fill it in. So I think on Saturday um, we will be coloring in, well, obviously a different book, but <laughs> I think we will be coloring in which was the other one? Um, maybe Norman Rockwell, because that one will be a nice simple one. And maybe we'll try to get the entire page done before the end of stream. We'll see. <laughs> I'm feeling much better now, but just my luck. I'll, I'll say I'm going to do all these things and, and my back will say yeah no you're not. I'm going to sharpen this pencil. It's just going to wiggle you a little bit. Wiggle it a little bit. Shh. I don't say nothing. All right. This side, of course, has a lot more darkness. So getting in there and adding more darkness is not a horrible thing. The uh, underside is going to have a little bit more light and the top area is going to have a little bit more light because of the light that's coming through. That's the way my brain's seeing it, so hopefully it's the right way to see it. <laughs> it's just the way my brain is seeing it. Hopefully I haven't been in your guys' way the whole time. I have a tendency to do that, and I do apologize. Alright, now we're going to take our medium green and I'm going to sharpen it. And we're going to do the center area of the tree. Top. So this one here is number 65. I'm just going to go in and blend it all in together. Creating that contrast. Now if you don't like an area or feel that an area is not quite dark enough or has a little bit too much light color. You can definitely go back and color over top of it with your dark color and it'll still show the light 
but it'll give your dark a different tone, which is really kind of cool. And probably why I usually keep two or three pencils in my hand at a time. <laughs> I have a tendency to go back and forth until I get to the color that I want it to be. So right now I'm just going back and forth between number 65 and number 26. Just working on that center coloring of the darkest area of the back side of the tree. You gotta remember this is the back side of the tree. So the, with the sun setting in front of the tree, it's going to catch the edges of the, the tree, but it's not going to catch the back side of the tree. This is a very densely clustered leaf form, so it's going to be a little bit darker on the back side of the tree. And I could do this all in blacks and grays as well with the colors of the sun coming through it. And it would still look proper. I just like green. <laughs> I like the colors. Alright, so now that I've gotten that part of the tree done, I'm going to take my lightest green that I have out. And of course this set does have a lighter green but this one is already out and already in use. And it has that nice tone, a yellow tone, of this almost the same as the yellow tone from the sun, but still with a green tone, undertone to it. So it still looks like it's supposed to be there, but still carries some of the right colors from the sun, giving it that look that the sun is reflecting off of the leaves a little bit. And then in areas that I feel are a little bit too yellow, I'm just going to take this medium green and just going to go in and add a little bit. into some of those areas. Okay, now we're going to take our light green again. We're just going to go around the edge of the top front part of the tree. Just catching that light as it comes off of the sun and comes through the, the top areas of the leaves. I'm just going to fill in whatever areas I feel need to be a little bit darker or blend them together a little bit more. And at this point, that's pretty much what you're doing. You're taking your most dominant color. I don't want to do it the lightest color because I don't want that bright green all over the tree. So I'm doing it with the next lightest color and just blending that into the dark green as well as the light green. 
just to make everything cohesive all the way across. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side of the tree here. However, this side, being further away, is going to have more of the dark than this side. The underneath here is going to have some of the most of that light color. This area here is going to be darker, and this area here is just going to have a bit of that light co color up here at the top. So this area here is going to be darker. All the way in to where it, where it gets into the roof line here. Just going to take our dark and we're going to fill that in a little bit more. And like I said, with the lighter color underneath of it, it does change the green color, the dark green color. It does lighten it up a little bit, but it still gives that gradual effect in your colors. So even though it is a little darker, it's not as dark as the other darker colors. Now if you want something to stay really dark, just leave it, on, leave it colored with just the one color. Don't go over it with your lighter color because the lighter color will lighten it up a little bit. I'm just going back through with the lighter color, blending that all together. Making sure that I get pretty much all the areas that I want that medium tone to be. Alright, now we're going to go through with the lighter one. And I'm just going to hit all those areas that that sunset's going to touch. And of course, the train decides to come through just at that point. <laughs> Alright, hopefully uh, my hand wasn't in your way. Now I'm just going to take this medium color again and I'm just going to gradually bring that light color into the darker colors. And there we have our tree. Now we're going to do the trunk. And I've got a fairly light brown here, especially on the side that the light is hitting. Not to mention the fact that it is on the ocean side. So when trees are hit with a lot of that ocean water, they do tend to go a little bit white, so. I will go through the black back side of the tree and darken it up a bit with number 20. going in underneath the underside of the branches here as well. And 
Now I don't know if she intended on it being a sunset, but with the way that the branches are colored, I'm pretty sure that I did the right thing with adding that sunset. She did not have it added, so. And we're going to take a little bit darker, almost a red brown here. Just going to go in and add just a little bit of it into some of these areas. And then we're going to go through again with the lighter brown. and blend it all together. Like I said, this side of the tree itself is going to be a little bit lighter because it's where the sun is hitting. And this side here is going to be a little bit darker because it's on the opposite side of the... away from the sun. However, each bit of salt water that gets onto the bark of the tree will lighten it up quite a bit. So I want to make sure that that light bark is still recognizable. Alright. And there we have it. And there we have the completed picture. I think I want to add a little bit more dark to this one here as well. I feel it's way too light, I think. little too light, not enough dark. I'm just going to add that. And darken this up a little bit. It, this side here I'm going to leave a little bit lighter because of course it is facing that sun area. And there we have it. That's better, I think. I think it's better. All right. If I keep fussing with it, it's never going to get done. Because I will fuss for hours probably why it takes me so long to get a picture done, because I get fussy with it. Alright, so I'm going to switch you over to the main, and there we have the entire picture all finished. Again, thank you very much uh, for subscribing Sonus Coloring Paradise. I do appreciate it. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed this coloring. 
and uh, you know I am so glad that you all joined me on Saturday and Wednesday uh, to get this one started and into the center and of course now we are finished it so on Saturday we get to start a new picture yay all right guys um, of course a like comment and subscribe if you are not already a subscriber to the channel um, I do appreciate all of my subscribers and I am so glad that you are all here if you want to join me over on Facebook and show me what you're coloring um, please do so I really do appreciate that and I love seeing what everybody's doing so just fill out the application form and we'll get you into the Facebook group as quickly as possible of course the links to that are in the uh, description below the video this is once again Teresa Goodrich's wish you were here a Dover publication for hashtag dive into Dover 2021 and uh, that is my first Dover picture colored and finished and I will be uh, posting that on the Facebook group uh, we are having a contest uh, for dive into Dover on the Facebook group so if you have any Dover publication pictures that you're coloring right now and are a part of the Facebook group please make sure that those get into the dive into Dover um, album uh, there is a special prize which I'm not going to tell you about but it is a it is a biggie so um, that's always a surprise so um, but I have I have already decided the prize for this one no matter what so just letting you know the prize has been decided and it's a big one um let me see what else was I going to tell you about oh if you want to support the channel financially you can definitely do so by helping out and joining our membership perks and our membership ranks um, there is a join button below the bit the video here and that will tell you all about the different ranks and the different perks that come along with those ranks and how much they are and all that fun stuff of course there are always extra perks that I don't have listed there that I throw in uh, to the membership information uh, on the community page what else was I going to tell you about other than that I can't wait to show you more about the wonderful all things that we got in on fun stuff Friday tomorrow thank you all for watching and I hope that uh, you have had as much fun with this picture as I have remember to always relax color and stay safe thank you all for watching until next time bye bye for now